Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hey, check out this fancy Teleron setting. Watch the easy setup in this video to configure it to your plan. Hey, thanks for watching and let's begin. Okay, so the first requirement is with a typical plane with gear and flap, you would need at least a seven channel receiver. For my case, I'm using a FreeSky Archer Plus SR8. But then let's move to the setup now. Okay, so let's power up and make sure we create a model file for my F22 Raptor. Okay, okay, I see that the last model that I used here was the Viper, which had this checklist that I put in. Okay, and by the way, the checklist is very helpful to remind me which switches are what feature before my flight. As we have many planes to store on the radio and switches are different from plane to plane. So that's why this checklist is very helpful as you can see and compare the default checklist in the lower left side window here to my Viper checklist are different. So look for the video to customize the checklist that I reference here if you need to configure it. Okay, so let's hit OK here and move on and create a modify for our Teleron uh, F22 Raptor. So hit the flight button here. Okay, model select and I'm going to add and create a new model here and it's going to be airplane Hit next here and remember I'm going to use the Archer plus SRA and I'm going to select that make sure it's a more than a seven channel at least okay engine is one channel uh, aileron is going to be a one channel okay the flap is going to be one channel also so select one channel here okay hit next here and the tail is traditional and hit next and here elevator, we need to select two channel for elevator. We're gonna set up two separate uh, channel for it. And hit next here and the gain adjustment, I'm gonna use this pot here. Okay, and staff mode is the uh, stabilizing mode. I'm gonna select these switches here. Okay, and the staff mode for emergency, I'm gonna select SC here. Okay, and I'm gonna hit next here and next arrow again here. And I'm going to name it Raptor uh, here and name my uh, F22 Raptor. Okay, hit enter here. I don't have a picture, so I hit next. Now I create a model file for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the icon mix here and look at the channel and the source that we just create. Elon Elevator is two channel, okay? And that's what we need. And I had a flap down here, so let's move the flap up here. So that's easy to see right below the rudder here, okay? Okay, and we need to, let's also add another mix here. Okay, hit add here and it's a free mix. And let's place it after the flap. And I'm gonna name it the gear. We're gonna add the gear. Okay, and the active condition, I'm gonna use this switch here. Okay, you can use whatever you like. Okay, and the output, I'm going to map it to uh, empty channel, channel 7. Okay, so let's review the mixes here. Everything we have aileron, but elevator is two channel, throttle, rotor, flap, and gear. So that's why you need seven channel at least for Teleron. Okay. Okay, then the next step is installing the receiver and verify the correct service movement here. So it looks pretty... Uh, um, nasty of all the wire here uh, so I'm gonna clean it up and come back right away okay so after cleaning it up it looks like this I connect all the servo wires uh, just like what we had in the mix uh, shown and it, it looks pretty clean uh, you know everything is gonna be under the uh, wooden tray here so it's gonna be really good looking so after register and bind to the receiver let's check our mixer so the icon here, flight icon, and look at the mix icon. And remember, we have aileron elevator with two ch independent channel. Okay, so everything looks good here. And now let's move on and verify our surface movement for regular um, uh, movement here. So uh, let's bring up the screen here, uh, the secondary screen here. And as you can see, aileron roll to the right. It looks good. Okay, roll left, right, left is good. Up, down, elevator looks good. Okay. Yep. Okay, let's uh, verify the rudder on the left here. Right. Okay, that looks good.
Okay, then the next step is to configure the Teleron. So let's go to the mixer that we had before, okay? So as you can see, we have the basic thing that's shown before and elevators to independent channels. So we need to add a new Eleron mix and then we're gonna place it after the elevator for me. Okay, I wanna place it after the elevator and I'm gonna name this as uh, Teleron, okay, with a T, okay? So let's enter that. Okay, hit enter here and the active condition, I'm gonna control by this switch here, SC. I wanna turn it on when this switch is down all the way here, okay? And for the curve here, let's set up an expo and basically I'm gonna do a 30% expo for now. You can make it bigger like maybe 40 or 50 based on your five characteristic, but for now let's do 30% for me. The weight, I'm gonna do 50%, so I'm gonna change it to 50%. And again, you can change it or uh, decrease or increase it later on if you want. Okay. And the output here, the channel, we need to uh, increase it to two. And the output, it should be channel two uh, elevator. But uh, this one uh, is kind of incorrect, but we can change that. So select channel two for uh, elevator, one of them. I know it's elevator one, I'm pretty sure. Okay. It's output one. And the output two should be the channel six, I believe, elevator two here. Okay, so that looks good. So let's uh, go back out here and we can see and get output it. We can correct it. The channel two aileron here should be uh, renamed to elevator one. So let's rename it. Um, it's a mix up here a little bit, but it's okay. Just There's no problem. Just rename it to elevator one because we know that it's elevator one when we create the model file, okay? So let's rename to elevator one here, okay? So hit enter here and now go back outside to output. Okay, and go back to the mixes and yes, we have an elevator right now for uh, channel two and six, okay? Okay, then now let's take a look at our plane okay and here is our second screen here and let's check okay remember sc to activate that teleron feature okay so this is not activating it this regular flight with no teleron now you activate the teleron switch okay and the deflection is incorrect okay you can tell from the left and the uh, elevator on the right is incorrect so all we need to do is uh, let's go edit this uh, Teleron here, okay? And remember, we had it, I think 50% here. Uh, it should be a minus 50. Uh, basically, we reverse it now. Then it will make the deflection correct. So let's change it to minus 50 here. Okay, so I'm going to scroll wheel and minus 50, okay? And that looks good, okay? So now let's double check it again. So roll right. Okay, now that looks good. The elevator on the right go down, correct. That's correct. Yep, and go to the left. Yep, elevator on the left go down. That's the correct deflection for Teleron. Yep, up and down is still the same. Everything looks good. We turn off the ele Teleron. Everything is a normal flight, Teleron left and right. We activate the Teleron, everything looks good. So yeah, that was easy peasy. So in summary, you, you can easily configure Teleron with the seven or more channel. By the way, I did not cover the stabilizer configuration for the Archer Plus 8 channel used in this video. It is covered in another video that I will post at the end of the screen. And be sure to watch that if you need it. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions, comment me and I will try to answer as best as I can. Help subscribe to my channel if you enjoy it and thank you for tuning in. Happy flying everyone!